This matrix match problem based on molecular orbital theory came in 2009. Here you see the image which is used in the general discussion of molecular orbital theory. For O2 minus, you just need to pair, say, this electron. For boron and nitrogen, we have large 2s2p interaction. So boron and nitrogen should match with T. For paramagnetic behavior, we look at unpaired electrons. Boron, yes. Nitrogen, no. Oxygen, yes. In O2 minus, say this electron is paired, but that electron is unpaired. That means, barring nitrogen, everybody else would be paramagnetic. Now loss of electron is possible in all these cases and gain of electron is also possible in all these cases. You can see that there are orbitals that can accept electrons without making the bond order 0. So oxidation reduction both are possible for everybody. Let's look at the bond order now. For boron, it is 1. For nitrogen, it is 3. Oxygen, it is 2. And if we put one more electron here, then the bond order would be 1.5. That means oxygen, O2 and nitrogen, these two should match with S. 